My team and I traveled roughly an hour south of Buffalo to investigate one of the most notorious haunted locations in western New York, the Haunted Hinsdale House. The Hinsdale House, located on McMahon Road, was once a quiet home until unforeseen incidents occurred there. Over many years, reports of shadow figures, full body apparitions, disembodied voices, and more have all come from this home and even captured on video. You wouldn't think much of a home located in rural New York, but tragedy has struck the home more than once. Reports of a hanging tree which once stood tall in the front yard until it was eventually struck down by lightning. A pond which has claimed the life of at least one. Stagecoach robbers turned murderers and hid bodies of their victims in the home, and many more. And it felt like someone had just barely pushed the back of my back. And my leg was grabbed and yanked, and I felt like I was gonna get dragged right off this chair. You want the fucking truth or no? With so much that has happened, the question is what causes this? Is there a dark entity connected to the home? In the 1970s, a family started experiencing poltergeist activity and ordered a structural exorcism of the home. During the exorcism, it was reported that the sound emitting from the home itself was as if the house was screaming. Now owner, Daniel Clays, had purchased the property in June of 2015, but was stopped by a neighbor begging him not to, and ordered he tear it down. Dan decided to keep the home for paranormal research purposes. Who is still trapped in the Hinsdale house? Is there really a spiritual portal in the home? And what keeps drawing spirits back to the property, refusing to leave? Our team decided to try and answer those questions ourselves. Join us as we investigate the haunted Hinsdale house. <laughs>